Texas State Fair, and for the better part of a century, the Sooners and Longhorns have defined conference titles and how regions of the country are perceived based on the outcome of this game. When these two meet, everybody pays attention. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the third-ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. will kick it off to get us underway. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Longhorns offense takes the field to start this game off. Guys, this rivalry has been intense, and over the years, there's always a back and forth with these offenses. And they live so close near each other in proximity, obviously. They go to the same high schools. They, they visit the same school, Jesse. This game always means a lot. Yeah, and look, it's Boomer Sooner and Hook'em, right? This is one of the best rivalry games in all of college football. There's just always a different energy when these two teams meet. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Fast motion from the offense. Caught in the backfield. It's Bond. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. Exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to pass. It's Ewers. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. There's a reason third down is called the money. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The Longhorns racing to the line in the hurry up. Got it behind the line. It's Bond. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. And the Longhorns are moving quickly down the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. This Red River rivalry has such a history of great finishes, and the Longhorns pulled that one out last year, David. Yeah, they found a way to get it done. And listen, this rivalry means so much. You think OU Jesse's heard a little bit about this over the last year? Of course they have, David. I think both these teams, because of how last year's game ended, they knew this one was going to be a dogfight. They were prepared to come in here and play 60 minutes plus to try to get the W. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. And it took the defense a bit to get a handle on him. A little slippery with all those juke moves. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. 
Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Yeah, go to the middle. It's Bolden. The tackle is made, but he's got him first and goal from the six. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorn! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They march 79 yards on the drive, and he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Sooners offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. And how about this matchup of a couple of guys who just don't get tired and don't mind being handed the football, Jesse? And I love this matchup, too, because in modern football, it's all about throwing the ball and spread and tempo and air raid offenses. Let's go back to toting the rock. Old school. Two of the best running backs in the business here. And, and the defense is now, like, they know the challenge. They know these guys are going to tote it. They got to be physical, committing guys to the box, not letting these running backs have success today. And the Sooners in the hurry up. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. Quarterback doing... And the sack! All the way back at the five. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. The Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. The give to the tailback. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's blue. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. From the 33, it's first and 10. Caught behind the line. It's Bolden. 
They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. So after the first down run, here's second down. Motion from the offense. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. It is Texas who holds the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've swapped ends of the field and we're ready to go in the second. Here comes third from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. Gets it out fast. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Baxter. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. Slams ahead. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. And that was a nice second down run and setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. Trying to bully their way in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! Offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown for the running back. The offensive line, Haven Holes, continue to feed this man the ball. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. If they have any intention of getting this drive going, they better come up with something on second and long from the 10. 
Running back searching for a hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. This defense has kept him backed up. Now one more stop. He can get off the field on third and long. Pressure coming. They're going to get him for a safety. Tried to make something out of nothing and still got stuck for the two. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field. They got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. Bringing it back, it's Golden. He'll be stopped, but good work there to get the ball out to the 37. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They'll line up for a second down play. Wide out in motion. Takes a handoff. It's Baxter. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Play this game in the shadow of Big Techs. You can get a corny dog out there, play carnival games, and see one of the great rivalries in the sport, David. It's crazy. You literally walk outside of the stadium, and there are thousands upon thousands of people. They don't even realize a football game's going on, Jesse. They're just having a good time. You're right. It's, it's part of what makes this game so special. The Red River rivalry is just... So much fanfare, there's so much tradition. And remember, with bragging rights on the line, this thing just means more. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they gonna do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is gonna need to make some adjustments. The Longhorns headed quickly to the line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They knock him down right there. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. A jet sweep pass. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, who puts the defense in such a difficult spot? You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if we can just get him out of the spot. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been oh, dropped. Oh, Let's oh, check oh, on the call. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And the pass hits, picked off! Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. He didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Back to throw Darnold. It's on target and complete. 
There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first down, the 43-yard line. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's gone. Brought down at the 28. A chunk play, 15 yards on that one, and a first down. Yeah, you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Quickly complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you throw into running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. He'll try to pop the draw. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense with tackles. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete! They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll try to get it in with the run. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Longhorns sending the offense back onto the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. You're going to be aggressive with your decision. -making. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it, a lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Here's the handoff. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. That's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks, or something. Oh, shucks, or something. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He makes the connection. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. Runs through a tackle. Sweet feet on the move. They make the stop with the sweet pulling catches. Plenty to give them a first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Use the play fake. Now to throw. That's caught. It's golden. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving the ball out of the backfield. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. And the Longhorns have pushed it inside the 20. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Grab behind the line. It's blue. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. The Longhorns are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wide receiver shows motion. Running play to the left here, looking for the end zone. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third and goal, the offense still trying to run the football here. And how about the individual effort up front by this defender? Getting penetration, now setting up fourth down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. Neil boot one from the right hash. You ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. The football, you hear the turn quick. Don't hurt. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much, got the ball out quick, but obviously it was inaccurate with his pass. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Back to throw, it's Arnold. Just a short pass to the tight end. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. And the Sooners will hustle to the line. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And it's loose! Now the defense has got it going the other way. Oh, look out! Touchdown, Longhorn! Not content to get the fumble, they score with the fumble. There are country fumbles and there are city fumbles. City fumbles, there's a lot of bodies around it, so you gotta jump on it. Country fumbles, a lot of green grass. That was a country fumble. The defender scoops it up, takes it in the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good. The lead is 19. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. And now the ball is knocked free. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Recovered by the kicking team. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Guys, it is Texas who holds the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Line getting set on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Grab behind the line. It's Bond. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. When you play zone coverage, you got a wide receiver that's a beast. It becomes very, very difficult. Got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. 
A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up for it. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Going right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and trot his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Anthony. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. They created a lot of breathing room with that first play of the drive. Now first down from the 39. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Quick strike complete. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. A completion, but not wide enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Makes the grab. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. They keep attacking through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Anderson. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Looking for a crease. It's Ocha. They'll give him one to the 28-yard line. How about the job by this defense today? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It, it was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now the play fake. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. 
looking for a productive play on first down. Tell you what, it gets late in the football game, man. I got to start being aggressive. When, I, when I'm in a hole and, and the clock's running out, like it's going to make me have to throw the football, be more aggressive. And this offense doesn't come through for their team. And now they're going to really need their defense to get some stops here in this football game in the fourth quarter. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. Fast motion from the offense. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. This is a third and long. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, beat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They had a great day today. The Longhorns decide to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Running it back, it's Bowen. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I, I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. Unloads it left. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Looking to go up top on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Anthony. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The Sooners will snap it on first and ten. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Into the house! Touchdown, Sooners! And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And now they'll empty the backfield for the two-point try. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. He makes it in for the deuce, and now it's a 14-point game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. This game always brings out the best in both teams, but today, Jesse, Texas best was a little better. And this is a win for them that's going to help their recruiting. Coaches are going to get paid for. But most importantly, David, Texas gets bragging rights for another whole year. A whole year of bragging.
and a whole year of telling OU fans, you're not as good as us. You can throw up the hook on horns. You can do it with pride. A lot on the line every year in the Red River Rock. It may not be a crown, but it's a hat and it is golden. In this latest edition of the Red River Rivalry, it goes to Texas. For David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, I'm Reese Davis. Until next time, that'll do it for this edition 